Before we begin our ceremony, um, we'd like to honor today our uh, fallen Americans. So let us stand for the national anthem. And seventy nine. O oh God, Almighty Father, number four seven nine.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Did you feel the Holy Spirit? Did you feel the Trinity in you yet? We just double shot the Trinity in us. We started with the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we are blessed with the Trinity. We even begin our celebration today with that national anthem. I think God is very happy. Happy because we remember not just God, our Creator, but also those who sacrifice for us to be here today. And so with that completion, with that unity, with that oneness as who we are, let us call out to God again for grace, for mercy, for love and forgiveness. Kyrie eleison Christ eleison Christ eleison Kyrie eleison May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A 
reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from, what, from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outreached arm, and by great terrors of all which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep this, his statutes and commandments that I enjoy on you today, that you and your children and after you may prosper, that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. 
The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them, when they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always unto the end of the age. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be specific. Can we just do... And we just do one more time in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes we do this so quickly that we didn't even think about it. There was a true story that this gentleman, he came to a monastery, like a Travis monk monastery in Gethsemane here, to visit, to have, a, to have a retreat. And then he was so stunned with this monk. They get up early in the morning to pray. Every day, they have to pray like 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and they pray a lot of times every day. So one time, they want to check and see if this monk do it genuinely and completely, the sign of the cross. And so one day, he changed the holy water into ink. It turned out that that morning, he checked and see how many marks those monks put on their body. If you do it well, how many marks? Four. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, right? Some monks, only three. Some monks, only two monks. I don't know where the other two monks. Some monk has only one mark on his body. Means that they didn't do all the way. They didn't even mark on their body. My brothers and sisters, maybe we laugh at them, but we could do the same. Every time I hear confession for our students, especially Our Lady of Mercy, maybe they could hear me from here. The students, usually we start the confession with in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
They did it in left hand because they tried to see me and they just follow me. I do the right hand, they do the left hand. They didn't even go through four marks. But today, that's not the point. Trinity today, we celebrate, is because we celebrate the oneness, the unity, and the beauty of God. God is in one. God is in unity and God is beautiful in His love. And so we are here. I can't stop laughing and smiling within when Mary and all of us sing that responsible song. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. The purpose we celebrate the Trinity because we are chosen, the children of God. We celebrate because God loves us so much. Not just one God like we say, Father. Everything in our world is like three and three and three. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lover, the beloved, and love. Today, we celebrate that completion of God, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Creator, the Redeemer, the Purificator, the Purifier. Today, I want to tell you the mystery that I discovered, the Trinity. As you know, the Trinity mystery is not easy to describe and to understand. Saint, of, Saint Augustine tried one time to define and to discover the Trinity mystery. Try to understand it. And he couldn't. To one day, he went to the beach and he saw a little boy try to put all the ocean into a small hole. And he found out that how in the world could I, my human reason, my human limitation, could understand the mystery, the enormous love of God. So he gave up in a way. But for me though, every time I see myself in a mirror, I see the Trinity. You could do the same. If you have a smartphone, I'd like you to do this for me. Turn on your smartphone and then go to the camera and then flip with the camera so you can see yourself called selfie. Now, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but turn on your camera, put selfie. Look at yourself in that screen now, some of you say, come on, Father, I'm too old for selfish. I wanted to challenge you. If you haven't selfie yet, do it. Do it to the point that you love yourself. You know why? Today, each one of us contain the Trinity in us. When people see you and say, oh, you look like your mom. And then you say, no, you look like your dad. No, you're not dad's mom. You are you. You are unique, special. You are different from the rest of the world. Did you know that only one, like Darren Pizzolato, or Ashley Pizzolato, or Bella, only one in the whole salvation history, just you. Even if you have a twin sister or twin brother, you still different from that person. But each one of us, have both father and mother in us. Now, we don't want to just stop with that. If you go all the way back, you will know that each one of us contains and carry not just you, but the whole multitude of generation and generations. Every time we come here, we bless ourselves, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Every time we baptize a baby, we baptize them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. How do we live with this Trinity? I reminded my, uh, the parents who brought their kids over to be baptized. I said, from now on, you're not the only ones who educate, who feed, who raise this kid. The Trinity is doing with you. How many of us entrust our loved ones, ourselves, to the Trinity, 
so that God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and guide us and protect us and redeem us and send us forth. Today, we celebrate the Father send forth the Son incarnate in the human flesh like us. And then the, the Son leaving us going to heaven and say that I will send the paraclete, the Pentecost, the Holy Spirit to be with you always. And after we celebrate the Pentecost, we celebrate the Trinity, the completion of God. And not just that, we are invited to go out to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It means that we are sent to do likewise, like God did to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. These days we celebrate a lot of graduations. We have graduation in our family, everywhere. And a lot of us, we say, oh, I've done my job now. No more situation, no more problems. And now you be your own, I'm free. Is that right? That is not very Christian way, my brothers and sisters. I hope that day when your son or daughter graduated from high school or from college, you say that now you are mature enough. Now you're big enough. Now you are equipped with information, with knowledge, with wisdom. Now you go. Go out there in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Go out there in the name of father, of mother, of siblings, of families, of great generation, of the whole family. Go out there and make, not disciples, love one another. Help the society, help the world. If you and I can do that to our young generations, they will be fired up. They will go out there and they will behave themselves. Instead of saying, I'm done with you now. Do whatever you want. No. Now you are blessed by us. Now you are blessed by God the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Now you are blessed by the church. Go out there. Do something good for the society. And so today, my brothers and sisters, God sent us a way to multiply, to make disciples in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, for me, the three Bs might be as easy for us to capture the Trinity. Blessed, beloved, and beautiful. The Father is blessed. It's like a responsible song the Lord blessed the people. Beloved is like the sun. The beautiful is like the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, each one of us carry those three bees. I would like you to turn to your loved one that you sit right next to. If you don't have your loved one with you, you say to yourself, you say, you are blessed. Just turn it to, to your loved one and say it for me. All right? Loud enough so they can hear, okay? You are blessed. There you go. Now the second one, you are beloved. The, the third one, you are beautiful. All right. Now if you don't believe me, take a selfie or go to, go to the mirror Look at yourself in a mirror. Look at yourself carefully, long enough, humbly enough, confident enough, so that you can see these three bees in you. You are indeed blessed by God. You are indeed loved by God. And you are indeed beautiful. Not just in the eyes of God, in the eyes of your loved one and one another. And so today, let us go out there, do the same, because we are so blessed, so beautiful, and so beloved. Amen.
Please stand and let us offer to God our beautiful faith of our church. I believe in one God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, and for us man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified in a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned, glorified, who has spoken to the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us pray as a people of chosen, adopted, and sent by the Lord, who has made us heirs to his glory. For the church, that we may teach what Christ has commanded in the gospel of love by making disciples of all nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those bound by human oppression, interferes, or illness, that they be led by the Spirit to the freedom of the children of God, who only suffer to share in God's glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all God's people, may we who have chosen the vocations of single life, marriage, religions, or ordained life, reflect the divine love of the Holy Trinity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our coastal lands, that we may be spared the ravages of wind and water this hurricane season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially parishioners of St. Gerard and the intentions of this Mass, Dominique Hong and the Adams, Barbier, and Delapaz families, may they enjoy their inheritance as children of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray to our eternal God for our own needs and for special intentions of others. I'd like to remember in a special way all those who fought in war time and that they sacrificed their lives for us. If you have any names that you know, your family and friends that, that uh, they did sacrifice their lives, just mention it at this moment. We pray to the Lord. God, you promise to be with your people until the end of the age, and you dwell within us by your grace. Hear our prayers that we might one day enjoy everlasting life in your presence. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in the confession of the true eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper in each person, their unity in its substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Michael Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned and remember in this Mass. For Dominic Huang and Adams, Barbier de Labas family, and B. Abarado, 
For we have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all we have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Alphonse, Saint Jared, Blessed Sea Lost, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please then, and then let us at this moment call out to God, the beautiful God, the blessed God, the God that loved us so much in the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the side of peace. Keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
this time, we would like to give Father a birthday present. This is his birthday yesterday. And basically all we have to give you is a song. But I think it reflects the sentiment of all of your parishioners that love you. tell you that today uh, to yesterday I was 49 years old and some of you say that, oh 49 you're too young for my mom and for my dad I'm very old <laughs> I'm old because I was born with heart defect and so the doctor the heart doctor said to my parents when I was maybe a baby one years old that if you live a good life your son will live over 15 years old. And so I'm 49 now. I think my mom is very happy. My dad already passed away, and so he's in heaven, but I think I have to call mommy on the birthday, say, mommy, thank you very much for giving this life, at least for 49 years. So thank you very much for a beautiful song. And I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. If not, I'm so loved and also beautiful because of you. So thank you very much. If you want me to sing a song, just a little one kid say, Because of you I am here. Because of you I have no fears. Because of you I am strong. Grow, grow, grow. Grow, grow, grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's it. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. So enjoy, enjoy your weekend, Memorial Weekend. I don't have a birthday cake. We ate it yesterday. No more. But we have donuts from Krispy Kreme. What we miss is just a candle on top of it and will become a cake. So enjoy the uh, donuts and coffee after Mass and hopefully we we'll see each other and chat a little bit more. Please stand and let us ask God for blessing. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord, our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with his spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The message ended. Let us go in peace and baptize all nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Happily present to you my best friend and teacher, Crystal, and um, we will be singing verses one, three, and four. I mean, I'm getting these again.